All right, so my name is Parker Sullivan I'm with Curing Innovations, and this is a panel of cannabis experts in the field of uh, flowers in particular today. And we are going to be doing a blind assessment of a year long study that we've been conducting here at SE Labs. Well, yeah, let's break out the three samples. There's uh, three sample groups. So one was stored at uh, room temperature in the lab. That's what we used as a control. Uh, the other one was in my product, which is the Curador. And the third is stored in a competitor's uh, device, if you will. That's cool. And so, so you have kind of a turp kind of comparison over time? Yeah. Oh, last year? The yeah. last year. This is the 12 month. And, was there, and it was done once a month? Uh, it was once a month for the first three months, and then we uh, switched over to every three months. Cool. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, I feel like you can, I, can, I can easily pick the control, and then between the two, I can see the clear difference in the cure door. You know, from what I think, I mean, to be able to have the lime green freshness, kind of six, eight months down the line, you know, and be able to kind of have that impression of the perfectly dried and preserved kind of flower that was harvested, you know, it's like, yeah, and it's on an in industry side of things. Like we're talking now, no longer about garage grows, which are you know, awesome for your, your personal use and things like that. But now, fields and fields of cannabis, which are valued at you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, and the ability to preserve that cannabinoid and terpene profile means the success of that that flower in the market. And especially for outdoor growers, who are going to get you know one or two rounds in a year, and then you're going to have an excess inventory. They need to, you know, they need to make sure that test that when they first pull down to when it reaches the manufacturer or the user has the same terpene profile and can't have it. So mm -hmm. let's see what one is. Number three just smells like the hay. Like you know when you walk into a barn and it has that overwhelming like musty hay smell. That's all I get out of that. Yeah, I can't blow tell it smell anything. Yeah. You know, it's just gone. So I know. Yep, keep going. That's Number three. Deal. Number one, I felt was like a six month old weed. Someone like had it in a turkey bag in the dark closet. But uh, this smells like it's a month old, seriously. Like, yeah, you can see yeah. it, you can smell it. Well, wow. that's pretty wild on the, the terpene concentration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the terpene concentration, uh, so we have three sample groups. The first one being the control, which is number one. Uh, that has had a roughly 30% loss in terms yeah. over 270 days. And in the number two, we have a 0% loss. It goes from, we start at 1.41 and we are still literally at 1.41 at 270 days of terpene percent to gram. Um, wow. And so the third sample has 52% loss in terpenes using the two way humidity packs. Whoa. And it's a, yeah, it's important to note too that you know that 0.05 percent is a, was a recognizable amount. So you're talking about it's literally you know half. We've yeah, gone ten times that in loss. And I think you know the nose is one of the strongest instruments we have. So being able to see that you know uh, and then actually visually see that, that that difference and then feel the difference and now see the analytics. I mean you get a lot backing up your uh, your program here.